the Airbus A350, a symbol of modern aviation technology, renowned for its performance, smooth ride, and near flawless safety record. However, a recent discovery by the US Aviation Safety Authority has sent shockwaves through the industry. The aircraft once praised as virtually error-free may in fact harbor a hidden technical flaw that could lead to loss of control during the most critical phase of flight. So what exactly is wrong with the A350? And are you really flying on a safe aircraft? Let's find out. First entering service in 2015, the A350 marked Airbus's response to the growing demand for wide-body, long-range, and fuel-efficient aircraft. Designed to rival Boeing's 787 Dreamliner and 777 series, the A350 incorporated next-generation materials, exceptional engine performance, and cutting-edge aerodynamic refinement. Widely regarded as one of the most advanced commercial aircraft in the skies, this Airbus aircraft represents more than sleek aesthetics and passenger comfort. It is a feat of engineering power and precision. However, recently, the U.S. Federal Aviation Administration has just issued a strict airworthiness directive, AD, for the wide-body Airbus A350 after uncovering a seemingly minor error, one that carries potentially severe consequences for human lives. According to the FAA, the current aircraft flight manual, AFM, for the A350 contains incorrect data regarding the maximum safe taxi time under freezing fog conditions, an environment that is extremely harsh on engine performance. The impact of this discrepancy goes far beyond a mere line in a technical document. It represents a very real risk that jet engines could experience sudden power surges or even complete loss of control during the most critical phase of flight, takeoff. But is this issue truly that serious? Modern aviation history has repeatedly shown that tragedies can arise from seemingly minor technical oversights, a sensor, a filter, or even a single figure buried in a flight manual. Air France Flight 447, on June 1, 2009, stands as a harrowing example. An advanced Airbus A330, equipped with cutting-edge systems and an experienced crew, plunged into the Atlantic Ocean after its pitot tubes, responsible for measuring airspeed, became blocked with ice. In the darkness and amid severe weather, the pilots lost situational awareness. A cascade of incorrect responses followed, and within minutes, all 228 people on board were lost forever. A frozen sensor, and the truth in the cockpit became fatally distorted. Similarly, British Airways Flight 38 on January 17, 2008 is another sobering reminder. A Boeing 777-200ER suffered a critical failure just moments before landing at Heathrow Airport. The cause? Ice crystals that had formed inside the jet fuel clogged the fuel oil heat exchanger, FOHE, of both engines, resulting in a sudden and severe power loss during one of the most critical phases of flight. The aircraft crash landed short of the runway. Miraculously, no fatalities occurred among the 152 passengers and crew, but 47 were injured, including one seriously. Both of these incidents point to one undeniable truth. Icing, whether it affects a sensor, fuel system, or engine compressor, can silently paralyze even the most advanced aircraft. And that is precisely why even a seemingly trivial miscalculation in taxi time under freezing fog on the Airbus A350 must be treated with the highest level of vigilance. You may wonder what happens if a jet spends too much time taxiing before takeoff. But wait, thanks for sticking around until here. Please show your support by hitting like, share, and don't forget to subscribe to get notified about our super interesting videos. Thanks a lot. In freezing fog, extended taxi time can lead to the silent accumulation of ice on the control surfaces or inside the engine's compressor. When airflow to the engine is disrupted, the engine may become unstable. Fluctuating power, compressor stalls, or even engine surges and fires. And if this occurs just as the aircraft is lifting off the ground, the consequences could be catastrophic. This is truly a moment of life or death. If the pilot has not yet reached decision speed, V1, they can still abort takeoff. But just seconds later, that option disappears. The aircraft must take off regardless of any malfunction. A loss of engine thrust after V1 puts the entire flight at extreme risk. Loss of power, directional instability, loss of control, and a crash only seconds away. A similar issue was previously identified by the European Union Aviation Safety Agency on A350-941 and-1041 aircraft operated by Scandinavian Airlines System, SAS. Freezing fog can become the silent trigger for disaster in aviation. 
And that is why the FAA, along with pilots and engineers, must continually reassess procedures, update documentation, and train for emergency scenarios, not merely to correct a number, but to protect the lives of hundreds aboard every flight. So, what can be done to minimize the risk? According to the U.S. Federal Aviation Administration, 32 Airbus A350 aircraft registered in the United States will be required to undergo a manual update to their aircraft flight manuals to comply with a newly issued airworthiness directive. What's particularly striking is that this directive doesn't involve any hardware modifications, system upgrades, or component replacements. The only required action is a document revision. Specifically, correcting the maximum safe taxi time under freezing fog conditions. However, don't let the simplicity of this change obscure its potential gravity. The labor cost for each aircraft is estimated at just $85, equivalent to roughly one hour of technician time. For all 32 affected aircraft, the total cost is a modest $2,720, as mentioned. And yet, this seemingly insignificant number conceals an immense truth. A technical oversight costing less than $100 per plane could put hundreds of lives in jeopardy. A small cost, but if not addressed in time, it could lead to major consequences. That's the paradox of aviation safety. The directive primarily affects operations at major U.S. airports, including Hartsfield-Jackson Atlanta International, one of the world's busiest hubs. As of now, Delta Airlines is the only carrier in the United States operating the A350. Its current fleet includes 32 A350 900s, with several A350 1000s expected to arrive soon. All of these aircraft are required to comply with the directive by August 5, 2025. To meet the new standard, affected airlines must update their AFMs using revisions from Airbus's document unit in accordance with guidance issued by the European Union Aviation Safety Agency. While the FAA does not mandate airlines to issue new briefings to flight crews, since current operational rules already cover freezing fog procedures, the AFM update is still mandatory, not just for regulatory reasons, but because of the serious operational risks posed by extreme weather conditions. The significance of this directive was further underscored by the response or lack thereof from key stakeholders. The Airline Pilots Association, ALPA, representing tens of thousands of professional pilots in North America, was the sole party to submit public comments during the proposal window. ALPA voiced clear support for the FAA's directive without recommending any changes, signaling strong alignment from those with first-hand operational experience. Meanwhile, both Delta Airlines, the only U.S. operator of the A350, and Airbus, the aircraft's manufacturer, have yet to issue any public response. This silence may reflect internal compliance already underway, or a cautious wait-and-see approach as technical adjustments are disseminated via EASA. But make no mistake, when pilots raise no objections, and major industry players refrain from comment, it often speaks louder than words. This directive is a stark reminder that aviation safety depends on more than just cutting-edge technology. It hinges on precision, even in the smallest line of a manual. The FAA's move also underscores a broader truth, the importance of global coordination in aviation safety. The release of AD 2025-13-03 is not just a bureaucratic measure in response to a documentation error, it is part of an international effort to eliminate vulnerabilities before they escalate into tragedy. With the recent crash of India's AI-717 still fresh in the industry's mind, attention to even the most minute detail, especially in technical documentation, has never been more critical. Modern aircraft may fly farther, quieter, and more efficiently than ever before. But those advances mean little if the fundamentals of safety are neglected. Because sometimes the line between safety and disaster lies in a single overlooked figure buried in a handbook. And only when every detail, including taxi time, is scrutinized with relentless discipline, can the aviation industry truly say it can deliver every passenger safely to their destination. Although FAA Airworthiness Directive 2025-13-03 formally applies only to the 32 Airbus A350 aircraft registered in the United States, all operated by Delta Airlines, its impact is likely to ripple far beyond U.S. borders. Legally, the FAA can only mandate compliance for aircraft registered in the U.S., but in practice, its directives are often regarded as the gold standard in aviation safety and closely followed by other authorities such as ESA, Europe, TCCA, Canada, or CAAS, Singapore.
It's important to note that many major international airlines operate large fleets of A350s, including Singapore Airlines with 63 aircraft, Qatar Airways with 53, Lufthansa with 21, Finnair has 19, Air France has 22, Cathay Pacific 45, and Scandinavian Airlines, among others. In fact, EASA had previously identified a similar issue on A350-900 and A350-1000 aircraft operated by SAS. So while Delta is currently the only U.S. airline required to revise its aircraft flight manuals, AFMs, under this FAA directive, other airlines around the world may also proactively update their documentation, especially if their fleets include affected models. Moreover, Airbus itself, as the manufacturer, may have already issued corresponding document revisions to operators globally in coordination with EASA guidelines. In this sense, the FAA directive is more than a domestic regulatory action. It acts as a global wake-up call, urging the entire aviation community to re-examine seemingly minor operational details, such as taxi time under freezing fog conditions that can lead to disastrous consequences if left unaddressed.